So here we are folks with match 36, it's Spain up against Morocco in Group B. So Spain will line up like this to hear in goal Alba, Azapecek, Ramos, Pique, Silva, Iniesta, Sico, Busquets, Costa and Pedro up front. As for Morocco, Bunu in goal, Diara, uh, Benicia, Sassi, Obadi, Aramabat, El Havadi, Belhanda, Zayish, El Atabati and Boutaib up front. I know I butchered those names, I do apologise. So here we are folks, match number 36. It's Spain up against Morocco. Winner takes all in this one. Very, very tough group or tight group at the top. Both of them are through to the next round, but positions are up for grabs. I think Spain currently shaded with a, a plus five goal difference. Morocco have plus three. So a draw would only be good enough for Spain to top the group. So Morocco are going to be looking for the win today. And they ain't mucking about. Look at that nasty tackle. And a quick early call for Bohanda from Morocco. You hear any funny noise in the background? That is Luna with her Vuvuzela. One way strike and Spain with a cracking effort from the free kick. Could have opened up the scoring there, but a good, big, strong save by the Moroccan keeper. Morocco upsetting the odds here by getting their noses in front of Portugal, who have gone home. And they've gone home miserably with no points whatsoever, losing all three games. Uh, as for Iran, they did pick up that win against Portugal in the last match. Um, but right now, Morocco looking to pounce on a cracking opportunity for them. And they have their noses in front, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Put, uh, Morocco are in front. Now, at the minute, they are topping this group with nine points out of possible line. Boutaib with the strike. Good early bit of pressure by Morocco. A couple of opportunities there. Then the keeper just didn't... De Gea didn't do anything about it. Morocco pounced. Just to, just to let you know that uh, Spain are obviously in the red and blue. The traditional red and blue. Morocco in a uh, familiar white and red. And they're looking to get themselves straight back into it. Now, this match itself, when it takes place in the real world, match 36, will take place on the 25th of June in the Kalingrad Stadium. And that is in Kalingrad. Morocco upset the odds one of the teams with the tournament thus far joined the likes of Egypt. Now, if the results were to stay like this, Morocco would top the group and they would face uh, said Egypt in the second round, which is a tasty encounter for Africa, the continent, as um, as that would put somebody as an African nation into the quarterfinals. And then it would also leave Spain up against Russia in an all-European affair. But we've got a lot of football left to play. Um, if you are new to the setup here, we do play two four-minute halves. And we are right now approaching halfway through the first half. Morocco again, 1-0 up. Spain now need to get themselves back in. Just one goal would then give it a good opportunity here. The keeper's parried it. But he does pick up the, eventually pick up the, uh, the rebound. Punted long. Headed back. But Morocco do their bit. Headed onwards. It's dealt with by the Spanish defence. Headed on once again. But Morocco doing enough here. Doing enough. You would still fancy Spain to come uh, to to take out Russia, and you would probably I don't know the Morocco or Egypt one will be a tasty encounter. Um, cleared. Oh, here we go. Good opportunity now for Spain if they can turn here and have a shot. Oh, that's just poor. That is just poor. And uh, we're down to the last minute of the first half. Spain need to find something. Punted long by Morocco. Looking for a second. Long cheeky ball. Headed onwards, but eventually clear by scissor kick. Here comes Spain now looking for an equaliser. Can they get it? No, they can't. Morocco break it up and they continue their passing. But it's broken up by them. Here comes Spain. Long ball. Headed onwards. Nicely done. Turns and shoots. It's weak. 
but De Gea still manages to pull off a Hollywood save down to the ground and we are now edging towards half time and Spain have got it all to do in the second half but one game will switch it right back into the favour of Spain so it's not all sweetness and lies and that hits the woodwork Morocco really impressing me at the moment that's the half so the second half is about to get on the way Morocco will kick us off they do lead 1-0 up against Spain in the battle for the top of group B the winners will take on Egypt in the second round as for the runners up Spain opening up the second half with a flurry of effort and now will be a corner can we see a goal from a corner it's floated in there and the keeper is equal to it and he makes a cracking catch can he pick out a pass though headed onward Spain will get it back again from midfield they do have midfield maestros in Busquets and Iniesta headed onwards oh four favourable bounces just cleared just cleared by Morocco no mucking about it'll be another corner for Spain what can he do with it puts it in there heads on and it'll go out for a goal kick goal kick boots it out Morocco looking to patch it up at the back long ball headed onwards Spain clean up now over the years that these two sides have met in previous competitions prior to this uh, they have met two times in Spain winning both of them the last time that these two sides did meet in fact they met on both occasions hang on a second and there we have it folks it is looks like it's over Morocco have their second goal and they will be topping this group unless Spain can find something which uh, which it doesn't look like Boutaib with the strike is that his second goal of the day I think it could be 2-0 Morocco upsetting the odds but yes like I say these two sides have played twice prior to this match and both of them I said both of them was in the 1961 World Cup they must have met in the group stages and must have met later on in the final um, unless I'm mistaken but uh, yes they won the last time which was 23rd of November is that correct was the World Cup held in November well whatever it was it was a 3-2 victory for Spain and then they also won 1-0 on the 12th of November at the also the same World Cup I can't be right because I don't think a World Cup was in 1961 so but anyway maybe it was World Cup qualifying I don't know I don't know that's just the, the, the information I have and right now they are doing the business 2-0 up with uh, less than two minutes left in this match so it looks like Morocco will be topping this group. It's a great honour and they will be fancying their chances up against Egypt. As for Spain, they'll be taking on host Russia in a uh, all-European tie, which has its own added spice. When you're up against the host, you never know what you're going to get, you know. Um, obviously, if it was if it was in, in Brazil or somewhere else, you would fancy Spain to to shade this one. Oh, and I guess a cracking effort there. Trying to get himself back in him. I think even if they were to get a goal now, it would be too much to ask. But yeah, playing up against the hosts in the... Or get, playing up against Russia in their own country is, is adds, I think, an extra level of uh, uncertainty. You just don't know. We just don't know with Russia. And Morocco looking for a third. And they nearly get it to Haya down to the ground with his black, yellow and red socks Morocco now cruise control perhaps already thinking about the second round it's punted long down the left hand side heading onwards Spain maybe they're saving themselves I don't know headed onwards and this should be easily dealt with it's just put behind Morocco taking no chances, just clearing it. Corner once again for Spain, floated in there. Uh, not dealt with, and here come Morocco. Last 15 seconds, headed onwards. Can he shoot? It's blocked. Kept in play, nice cheeky pass. Beautiful effort, beautiful goal. That's a goal for the tournament right there. But it's a little too, little too late. It's not going to change anything 
at the top of the table. Rocker will be top unless some freakish thing happens and they score within the last few seconds. But Diego Costa, the Atletico Madrid striker, gets, gets something of a consolation anyway for Spain. But I don't think they're going to be too bothered. I think they'll fancy their chances in the second round as we go through the last few seconds of the match. Is there a sting in the tail, though? No. Dealt with by the Morocco defence. And that's your lot. Spain 1, Morocco 2. Just to recap of the statistics, six shots for Spain, four for Morocco, and two of them went in the back of the net. Three corners. And let's take a recap of the goal scorers. Uh, Boutayev opened up the score on 57 seconds before wrapping it up. Basically, 5 minutes 21. Uh, Diego Costa made it lastminute.com. A little bit interesting with that wonder strike. As for players in the book, uh, Balhanda got in there on 24 seconds. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.